Welcome to the Having It All podcast, the show about what it takes to live an abundant, loving life. My name is Matthew Bivens, and each week I'm helping you get out of your head so that you can truly have it all. Let's do it. What's going on, everybody? I appreciate you tuning in to the Having It All podcast. My name is Matthew Bivens, and in today's episode, I have a bit of an admission to make. Um, I don't know if it's an admission. I'm, I'm really just sharing my truth. And right now, my truth is that I am a bit tired of of personal development. Uh, I'm a bit tired of things like this very podcast, you know, the, the topics about growth and transformation and healing. I think that it's just been, uh, it's been heavy. It's been heavy on me lately. And so I want to record this because I have to believe that there's someone out there right now who's listening to this episode, listening to this sort of, you know, growth type material and who is a bit tired of it. Um, I know for me, I, I've just grown a little weary of the principles and the processes and, you know, empowering and motivational quotes and books and, you know, like I said, podcasts, just anything that's supposed to open my eyes to some new way of thinking or new way of feeling or being and, and anything that's just that's supposed to improve my life. Um, just feeling the, the, the wear and tear of that type of content constantly being in my awareness and, and constantly being on my playlist and books stacking up on my desk. And, you know, when I'm feeling this way, um, I, I start to get this little itch, this little uh, desire to sort of dip out and live life in a different way. Um, live life more simply, get out into, for me, you know, for, for me, the fantasy right now is to move to a, the beach, <laughs> is move to the beach. And uh, I'm from Southern California. I was born in uh, a small town called Del Mar, which is north of San Diego. And Sarah and I visited there last year for our baby moon before Maya came. And holy crap, it was so nice. It was so nice. And I think that the idea of moving back to a place like that um, has really kind of grown in strength in my in my mind. And to the point where Sarah and I have been talking about living in Southern California. We've been talking about moving. Uh, you know, we've thrown out ideas around about you know, a permanent move. We've tossed around ideas of doing, you know, a month down there or a summer. But I know for me that part of the the appeal of, of that is just to get out of my my current environment, um, not to be surrounded by all the 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 growth, healing, transformation stuff, and to minimize my life and just spend time at the beach and and spend time with with my family and just kind of I don't know simplify things. Um, and it's really interesting, obvious, you know, for obvious reasons. Like this is a, a podcast about stepping into a um, more peaceful, abundant, loving uh, life. You know, obviously that's that's what having it all stands for, abundant, loving life. So the topics that I'm talking about on this show are the exact type of things that I've just grown a little bit tired of. And you know, let me let me throw in there that I'm not tired. I'm, you know, I'm not saying that I'm retiring. I'm not saying that uh, you know the show is done and I'm and I'm done with these types of things. I think I just you go through ebbs and flows in life, right? We like we just like a wave. We go up and down, and um, I've just been on a, a, a down a little bit lately with some of the implications of being around this type of material. Because for me, I, I have a real challenge of reading something that's a, that's supposed to improve my my way of being improve my life or hear something and not act right like I, I just I want to take some sort of action and it's that desire to take action that takes its toll on me because I might read a blog post about how to how to become more efficient with my email and then I, I'll think about okay damn yeah my email has been messing with me lately and it's been stacking up so let me create this system with folders and tags and 
move the shit over here and all this stuff. And that's what, I, that's what I'll do. Or I'll, I'll read about uh, something to do with, let's say, effectiveness or, um, or, or, or improving the results in, in a workout or, or in fitness and in fitness health or something. And I want to apply those, those techniques. I want to apply those new lessons. And it's just, it, it gets to be exhausting. Like there's so much of this stuff out in in the cosmos in the ether right now just floating around i mean my phone i've had to remove all these different types of um news notifications that will pop up on my phone for things that are kind of self-help related because it's just too freaking much you know i've become inundated by it and so that's really you know that's where i'm at um i realize however despite how i'm feeling uh, kind of wanting to unplug and remove myself and uh, tone tone you know tone down some of the things I'm into. I realize that all these different things are simply tools. You know, they're they're tools that are there for for me to use and to build whatever it is that I want to build. And what is really great about that sort of way of thinking is that I don't have to build anything. I don't have to always be building. You know, sometimes you can put the tools down and you can just chill in what you've built. And, you know, let me let me bring that analogy down a little bit. You know, sometimes you don't always have to be seeking like, okay, how can I improve myself? How can I get better? How can I get smarter? How can I get more compassionate? How can I become more courageous? How can I become more humble? How can I become more loving? Like, you don't have to always be, you know, you don't have to always have your foot, you know, the pedal down, what is it, pedal to the metal, your foot on the gas on that stuff, you can ease up a little bit. I'm not saying take your foot off the gas. Or if you do take it off, I'm not saying put the car in park or put the car in reverse. I'm just saying like you don't have to be always going full throttle. And for me, the environment that I'm that I'm in, um, a lot of folks are going full throttle all the time. And I'm constantly around these conversations about about, you know, improvement and growth and transformation. Um, just to give you a little bit of context, uh, here in Atlanta, there's a community called uh, Your Day, and Your Day is a health and fitness philosophy and technology. Um, philosophy meaning that uh, it's a core set of beliefs on what being healthy, being wealthy, being significant, what that looks like, and some of the the, I guess, steps to achieving that. Um, and the technology piece is, you know, there's literally a piece of technology. It's a it's a mobile app, um, but the, also there's a way of measuring your fitness, your consciousness, your lifestyle. Um, there's all sorts of different uh, structures and and uh, things like that that have been put into place by the creator, a guy named Day Adioba. And I'm actually going to do a whole series uh, on the Orde Balance game because um, it really has been the uh just the, the catalyst for so much growth in my life and i know that it can impact other people now all of that is to say that uh, i am a big part of what goes on in the your day balance game i help to uh, produce a conversation on facebook live every wednesday um, i sit in a an accountability group that meets on thursdays with different people who are also playing the your day balance game um, i i lead a um a fitness workout. It's called a. It's called play camp. Um, it's our version of a, of a boot camp, like a circuit style workout. Um, I lead that on Tuesday night, and I also participate in a run, a group run on Saturday. So like, I'm I'm in that environment four days out of the week, and that's a type of stuff that I just think has become heavy for me because there's constant conversation about about growth and about people's healing and about amazing things people are creating in their lives and it's all beautiful it really is it's all it's all beautiful stuff and it's it's an it's inspiring and it's empowering but sometimes it just gets to be a little much and sometimes I want to watch something mindless on tv and sometimes I want to eat unhealthy food and sometimes I want to have conversations that aren't the most empowering like that's just it just appeals to me every once in a while and I can imagine that you might be feeling the same. 
I can imagine that you've been devouring the books and listening to the podcasts, and you might have you might follow all different sorts of people who post inspirational quotes on their Instagram and with really cool filters and font styles and gets you really jazzed up. And you might have different affirmations on your wall. You might be like me and, and my wife. We have the Louis, Louis Hay affirmation calendar that we tear off every day and we read the affirmation that you might surround yourself with this stuff the way that I do. And every once in a while, I'll just be sick of it, <laughs> quite frankly. And you might want to just check out and go and, and find your beach, right? And that's okay. It's totally cool. You know, I, I, I have to believe that at some point Michael Jordan was ready to, to uh, shoot. What am I talking about? Michael Jordan retired. He retired after, after achieving his three NBA championships. He said, peace. And then he came back. Right. Like even even somebody who, you know, at the top of their game, like Michael Jordan, just gets tired of it every once in a while. And so it's totally cool if you get tired of it. And, you know, going back to what I was talking about just a minute ago, this idea of tools, like all these different things are tools. And that's that's it. Right. You can you, you can choose to pick up a tool and use it and, and create something with it or not. You don't always have to have tools in your hands. You don't always have to be at work hammering away and sawing and putting things together. Every once in a while, it's cool to put the tool down and just chill, appreciate what you've built. Maybe appreciate someone else's building. <laughs> Maybe get the fuck out of your building. Like, it's okay. It's totally cool. And I'm saying that as much to myself right now as I am to you because I have been going through it. And uh, I don't necessarily think uh, my my budget will handle a move right now. And I don't really believe that I truly want a move right now. I just want a little bit of a break. And so I'm giving you permission to take a break as much as I'm giving myself permission to take a break. Because I know that if, if you're like me and if, if you're listening to this podcast, then achieving whatever it is, whatever greatness looks like to you is important to you. And having it all in life is important to you. Living a life of abundance and love is important to you. And you're going to continue to work at that. You're going to continue to work on yourself, to, to un- you know, flip over those stones and, and dig deep and find those things, that, those ways of thinking that are, that are really impacting you in a negative way or, or, or those relationships in your life that that are draining you as opposed to uplifting you. Like you're going to continue doing that work to heal yourself and to grow. I know you are because you're like me. And so I'm just letting you know that it's cool to rest for a little bit because you know you're going to pick it back up. You know you're going to pick it back up. So my, uh, my takeaway, my big action item takeaway for you is to do something that's totally outside of your growth <laughs> and and enjoy it be at peace with it you know if it's a if it's a diet thing and you want to you, you want to enjoy some food group that you don't normally enjoy do it guilt free release your attachment to it release the meaning that oh my god i i i got off my my you know my my eating and I did the, it's just whatever it's cool it's cool if you want to check out for a day or a week or a month and just go do your own thing and and kind of be with yourself and and whatever it is like be cool with it that's all I'm saying like whatever you choose be cool with it because it's not gonna impact or benefit you for you to stress out and be anxious and and feel guilty about taking a break it doesn't help you to feel guilty about being overwhelmed or just being tired of your growth for a little bit or your 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 self-improvement like be mindful of how you think and feel about taking your break and then get back to it you know it's going to happen it's going to happen cuz you're like me and and you know that you're playing for some big things in life and those big things require you to shift 
the way that you think about the world and, and think about yourself and think about other people. So I feel like I'm rambling right now, and that means I'm going to cut this episode right here. I appreciate you for listening. I really am grateful to you. Uh, the fact that you know I can look at my numbers and see that they continue to grow week after week, um, that really impacts me when I'm feeling the way I'm feeling right now. It's like, okay, folks are getting something from this. And Matthew, you're getting something from this. So I really appreciate you listening. I, I appreciate your consistency. And um, I'm very grateful to you. And you know, thank you. Thank you. My name is Matthew Bivens. And here is to you having it all. <laughs>